uh, if you review the literature in the scientific journal, including Journal of Immunology, which is, you know, I have it right here. I get two of these every month. And they look at the thickness, okay? And in every of these journals, at least there are two or three articles published that dealing with mercury-induced autoimmunity or infectious agents induced autoimmunity. So we know the mechanism behind of induction of autoimmunity is either toxic chemicals or infectious agents. And in particular, when we deal with toxic chemicals, mercury, and this is uh, the issue from March 2005. And uh, I'm going to read something from here for you, okay? So what they tell us, first, first of all, the title of this article is uh, um, ICOS-B7 homologous protein interaction are necessary for mercury-induced autoimmunity. Again, I'm emphasizing mercury-induced autoimmunity. So if the title of that article is this, so obviously mercury has been used in animal models to induce autoimmune disease. And exactly in here they're telling us that if we inject mice or rats with subtoxic levels, meaning very low concentrations of mercury, after few weeks, the animal will develop autoimmunity exhibited by laboratory abnormalities such as anti-nuclear antibodies, rheumatoid factor, and immune complexes. And that's exactly what we are finding to be elevated in children with autism anti-nuclear antibodies, rheumatoid factor, and immune complexes. So the evidence is there that mercury and other metals can induce autoimmunity. So that was from 2005. So let me also go back to earlier uh, publication in a journal called Immunology Today. Immunology Today. And that was from 1998. And in this article, again, well, let's look at the, uh, the, the title, the cover. It's the title, uh, or on the cover, they're telling us drug trafficking, adverse immune response to xenobiotics uh, compound. And uh, what they show us in this article that, and again, here the title, adverse immune reaction to xenobiotics, on the next pages, they are showing us how metals, right here, how metals can bind to human tissue protein and induce autoimmune reaction. So this has been in literature for more than 50 years. Those who are telling us that metals cannot induce autoimmunity, they never had the opportunity or they never t took their time and read some of these articles which I'm quoting. 